Bonjour and welcome to the best of Tesla Tour. Some of the most exciting moments in the last 14 years has been discovering the superb food and beverages of countries I visited outside France. When the tour visited the Netherlands, I enjoyed the delicious seafood and tasted the rare flat bellon oyster. Good. How lucky was I to visit one of the great chocolate shops of Belgium. Jean-Philippe Darcy is a great pâtissier and a very creative master chocolatier. Il y a toujours une évolution. Effectivement, on est toujours à la recherche de nouveaux goûts, les machines évoluent, les, les tendances évoluent donc. While in Belgium, I was also impressed with their superb cheese. This Nettling farmhouse goat cheese was very tempting. To me, it's just so subtle in goat flavor, but just perfect. And what a treat to visit Luxembourg, where the cool climate produces world-class white wines. Mmm, it's so delicious. It was also in Luxembourg that I discovered one of Europe's best cake shops. Further north, I sampled the great bread of Germany. And the most popular bread in, in, in Dusseldorf in Germany is uh, the ripe bread. And of course, a few fabulous German beers. Gabriel, cheers. Cheers. In Switzerland is the melted cheese raclette that needs to be eaten while still hot. Yum. In Italy, it was the gelateria for a real treat. Ricotta and fig. I've never had one like that before. The Mediterranean cuisine of the Principality of Monaco, along with the rustic Pyrenees cuisine of Andorra, and the popular, tasty Spanish specialty of paella. What a thrill to taste great fish and chips in the UK. So I'm going to have a medium-sized haddock and chips with smooshy peas. My meal looks appetizing. And the only thing left to do is to find a spot with a view. The fish is very fresh, the butter is crispy, it's really delicious. And for a British dessert, Janet Oldroy from Rothwell has the goods. Every eight weeks you've got young tender rhubarb, so it's lovely tender spring Yorkshire rhubarb. This is a delicious modern version of rhubarb and strawberry fool. First, I heat three tablespoons of honey in a pan with some rhubarb and cook until soft. Next, I add some sliced strawberries and cook gently for about three minutes. Rhubarb and strawberries are so delicious together. I spoon a little cold rhubarb and strawberries into six glasses. I mix about one cup of mascarpone cheese with finely grated lemon zest. I add most of the remaining rhubarb and two cups of whipped cream. Using a table knife, I briefly swirl the mixture together, then transfer it into the glasses using a piping bag. Finally, I top with the remaining rhubarb. This rhubarb and strawberry fool is an edgeless British classic. Yum! In our next show, I will toast the best of Tesla Tour in the glorious Champagne region of France. <laughs>